Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and today we'll be giving you some tips on making you a better sniper in the crucible. Also, if you feel like this video has helped you, drop a like, subscribe, and comment below on any tips that you would add to this video. Alright, so before we get into the tips, I just want to say I was absolutely garbage at sniping and it took me a while to figure these things out. I hope this video speeds up the process for you guardians out there. And a shout out to Ronnie Boy Shoots for the 1v1s and helping me get better. Alright, so for tip number one, that tip is going to be don't hesitate. What I mean by that is get them in your crosshairs and just shoot. Don't give yourself time to second guess. If you second guess, they're going to shoot you, you're going to flinch, and then guardian down. Try to leave yourself some cover. So after you take that shot, you can jump behind cover just in case if you miss or you hit a body shot and you got to go for another shot or you got to pull your other weapon out to finish them off. I know that the don't hesitate and just take a shot might seem like luck, but you'd be surprised after a while of doing this, you'll start to notice that all your shots and your headshots are absolutely intentional. On to tip number two. Tip number two is going to be about mods. That's also for weapons and armor. And it's also going to be about rolls on the snipers. So I'm going to be honest with you. Almost every sniper in Destiny 2 will one-shot headshot. With that being said, you're going to want to look for rolls that are going to help you get that headshot faster and or easier. We are going to start off with the rolls. So I guess four of the primary rolls you could be looking for would be like snapshot sights, moving target, quick draw, no distractions. And then for like the barrel, you can go for like fluted barrel for handling or extended barrel, which increases range. Uh, good magazine would be like accurized rounds. And then of course you can't forget the masterwork. Uh, you do one like handling or range. Uh, range helps increase bullet magnetism and now for the weapon mods now the weapon mods are always going to be personal preference uh, me I prefer either backup mag or target adjuster but at the end of the day it's whatever mod you feel is best for you so now we're going to get on to the armor mods the armor mods are things you're going to be wanting to look for is stuff like sniper and now with the new archetypes it's going to be on void armor so you're going to want to look for void armor with good stat rolls you're going to want to get them you know as close to masterwork as possible and the mods you're going to want to apply are going to be like sniper rifle targeting sniper rifle loader unflinching sniper aim sniper rifle dexterity and if you don't have any void archetypes that you want to use or ones that you don't like or there's just a solar arc that you want to use they do have mods that will help snipers as well on the other archetypes it'd be something like precision weapon targeting it does it for multiple different weapons, but it'll also include the snipers. But at the same time, it won't have as much effect as what the void archetypes would have. All right, so that wraps it up for tip number two. We're going to be moving on to tip number three, which is about knowing the map and being ready to change your fighting style. Especially if you're switching over from the old mountaintop and recluse. Or even if you're running mindbenders or Arantel. Either way, those are very aggressive weapons. And if you're naturally an aggressive player, you're gonna wanna dial that back a little bit while running a sniper. I know that sounds obvious, but I see it multiple times where people push me with a sniper. And don't get me wrong, sometimes they get their head off, but most of the time, they're gonna die. All right, so now that you've stepped it back from the front line a little bit, now you need to know the map. Whether you're new or old, they're gonna come out with new maps. It's going to happen. It's it's best to try to understand the map and not just run in any direction you want. After you get to know the map a little bit, you start to figure out where they spawn, where they're coming from, and then you can already be there, ready, waiting to snipe them. And that wraps up tip number three. On to tip number four. For tip number four, it's gonna be about the enemy's position their positioning, where they're at. And when I say that, I don't just mean in general, I mean their positioning. Trying to guesstimate their head height when you know they're gonna peek around the corner or 
understanding that that corner also has a ledge on top that they can potentially jump up and be ready to move your sights to where they're going to go. Try It's not impossible, but it's definitely possible to try to predict your enemy's movements. A lot of the times, most of the people are quite predictable in the Crucible. Now, when you start to get into the game mode like comp, or if they ever decide to bring trials back, just know that that's going to be a whole different ball game and hopefully at that time you've got enough practice to where you can play in those game modes with a sniper and be efficient but just know that most of the people you're playing against in those game modes especially higher in tier and comp they know you're trying to predict their movements so they're going to do what they can to not let you predict their movements all right, so that sums up tip number four. Now we're moving on to tip number five, and this one actually helps with your aiming. And this one might be obvious to a lot of people, but it may not be obvious to others because it wasn't obvious to me in the first place. And that one is going to be your movement. Your actual physical movement can actually help you aim, whether it's strafing, moving forward, or backwards. So to go into a little bit more detail on that, so let's say you know an enemy is coming from a certain side of the map and you hit the corner and you know he's behind a pillar and then he decides he's running out and you aim down your sights and your scope is right about head height but he's running and you already have troubles tracking. Well, start strafing to the left if he's running from your visual view to the left and then line it up and right as that red dot gets right over his head, pull the trigger. The same goes for someone if they are stationary. If somebody is like stationary and you, you're moving and you peek the corner and you're continuing to strafe, you don't even have to move your mouse or your controller thumbstick around. Just aim down the sight at about head height, move over, aim, pull the trigger, bam, headshot. You'll be surprised about how easy it is. All right, so I will be adding a bonus tip at the end, but I do want to sum up the five important tips that I just gave you. Number one being don't hesitate. Number two, understand the mods and roles. Number three, know the map and change your fighting style if need to be. Number four, try to predict your enemy movements. Number five, try to utilize your own movements to help you aim better. All right, so this bonus tip might not be for everybody, but if you're new to the game, new to the crucible, or you're just terrible with snipers and you, you never use them, you're just not comfortable with them, give them a shot in some PVE content. Now, I know for the PVP players, when you play PVE too much and you go back to PVP, you play like doo-doo, it happens. But uh, for the new people, give it a shot. Run a sniper in PVE for a week straight and then take it in the crucible. It may not be perfect, but it'll help you get comfortable with that sniper and that'll help you out a lot. But thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.